Hello guys, today we are here back again with another exciting video. This is Mike from Check Fruit Reviews. So in the previous video, um, I've said that uh, I'll be comparing two monitors, uh, Samsung and Dell. Uh, I have recently bought Dell and now I'll be comparing uh, Dell with my Samsung one. All right, so these both are 27 inch uh, 4K monitors. So we'll be testing the colors and the clarity and the rest of the stuff. All right, so uh, first of all, let's turn on the Samsung one and let's see what the colors are like and what's good and what's bad in that. Okay. Um, all righty, so this is the desktop screen and the colors are pretty nice. Uh, the contrast is good and everything is nice and smooth. Uh, I'll be playing a video just to give you a better idea. So I've uh, opened up a 4K video and let's play it. All right. So the colors and contrast, everything is pretty nice. Um, the clarity is good. And when you're watching the video, I think it's, um, it's giving a good, uh, good look. All right, so I'll be pausing the video and now I'll be moving to the Dell one, Dell 27 Ultra Shop U2720Q model and let's see what the colors are like in Dell. Okay, right. If the colors of Samsung are good, then the colors of Dell are excellent. You can see a difference. There's a huge difference. You look at the clarity, like, you know, the colors, the brightness, the contrast, the level of clarity, everything is so beautiful. When you look at the Samsung one, it has a huge, you know, brightness. The contrast is not good. The black levels are not good. And uh, one more thing, I'm using the default settings for both monitors. All right, so let's play and let's see what's the difference while the video is playing. All right, uh, just to let you know, I have bought this um, last year. I thought I'll be using this for my programming stuff, but I couldn't because I'll tell you now. All right, so look at the colors. Okay, so I'll show you the desktop on both screens. All right. Uh, you can see a huge difference like it, it, when you're looking at the black uh, you see the black is like literally black but when you come to the Samsung one black is looking like more like a gray and the color tone has been changed uh, if you look at the sun side all right the it's it's really sharp and really crispy but when you look at the Samsung one it doesn't look like you know the uh, it looks like maybe the sharpness of the colors is gone all right so uh i bought when i bought this the samsung one i thought i should be i should be using it for programming because i'm a programmer so i'll show you what i uh why i didn't like it i used it for a couple of uh, few few days then i have had a bit of strain on my eyes i couldn't understand why is that because uh i thought this is how the monitors are but later on, when I did a bit of research, I found out that, okay, uh, the reason why the Samsung is not performing that well, because it has uh, a high black uniformity level. It has to be low, right? Uh, if you look at the Dell one, the black is like black, you know? But if, if you look at the Samsung, it's, it's giving me like color as if I am watching, uh, as I'm looking at gray. So if you look at both screens, Right, you can see a huge difference. So this is more like black and this is more like gray. So that was the major difference. And um, yeah, that was the main reason uh, for me to switch from Samsung to Dell Ultra Shop. And if you look at the design, design is also pretty good. Uh, in the Samsung one, you have you know really thick edges. Uh, both are 27 inches, but uh, Dell looks pretty slim, pretty smart, and pretty elegant, and it has uh, really good 
you know, movable stand, like you can move the monitor screen up and down as for your needs. Uh, so it gives you a bit of comfort when you're, you know, sitting uh, for long hours on the chair. And plus you can also tilt the screen uh, really easily. But with the Samsung one, it's like, uh, you know, you have to do really hard. All right, that's, that's a minor thing for most of you, but the main thing is like uh, the colors, the clarity and the colors. All right, so uh, that was it guys. And uh, before I leave, there's one more thing. Um, this comes with uh, USB-C and it has uh, uh, USB-A ports as well, uh, which is really good. So just in case, if you don't want to use the cables uh, and if you want to use, uh, you know, uh, uh, view the display in wireless, then you can probably use one of these um, uh, display adopters. I'm using Microsoft wireless display adopter that costs roughly 60 to $70. Um, and it's, it's really good. Um, you have USB, which can be uh, put into the monitor, and the other side is HDMI. And yeah, that's it. And uh, just in case if you want to play games uh, and a high performance game Dell monitor suits for that too because uh, it has really uh, high refresh rate like it's less than five milliseconds which is pretty good all right guys that's all for uh, today and if you ever need to buy a monitor or laptop or anything it's better to do a bit of research uh, with monitors just make sure to check the black uniformity level contrast levels and the clarity of the text that's the most important thing that you need to look at before you buy a monitor that's all for today uh, and give us a thumbs up if you like the video and stay safe wherever you are have a good day